Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with, with another scrapbook process video for the Bella Boulevard creative team. And this week we are creating spring layouts. Uh, so off camera, I punched out a bunch of different florals um, using some paper punches. It was like a larger floral paper punch and then a smaller one. And then I also have a leaf paper punch. And the collection that I'm using uh, is the Tiny Tots 2.0 collection. And uh, I didn't realize how many different spring elements are in this collection. So I thought this was perfect for this week uh, because of uh, the spring theme that we've got going on. So what I'm doing is I'm layering up my flowers. I'm just gluing them together, uh, lifting up the edges just to give them some dimension. And uh, of course, okay, you know me <laughs> and this Bella Boulevard striped paper. I always add it to a lot of my layouts. I can't help it. I am addicted and I can't, I just have to add it. It's just, ugh. The stripes are beautiful. It just gives just pops of color and um, I can't get away from it. <laughs> so um, I added those to a piece of uh, uh, textured cardstock. So I cut this, I made them a little bit bigger this time. So it's, a, it's one and a half uh, inches thick instead of like my usual one inch because I wanted more of that, that uh, stripe. So um, I trimmed those. I think I distressed them or I'm going to distress them and then I put it on the top and bottom of my layout. So I wanted some centers for each floral. So I pulled out the uh, Trinket puffy stickers in white. I kind of went through the colors figuring out if I wanted to maybe alternate the colors just to add, um, to, you know, just some more interest. But in the end, I went with the white so that it pops and I just uh, adhered those down to the centers of my florals. Now, when I look at this design with the florals that I have like arranged right there, I like it. But then when I took them all off, I forgot how I had it set up and I don't mind the layout that I um, ended up with, but I, I did like how they were situated here. I should have snapped a photo so I could go back and remember, um, but I'm, I am pleased with how it came out, but I do like how they kind of went more across the page. Um, so I took some stickles while I was just mentioning uh, or talking about that and I wanted some sparkle. So I pulled them up close to the camera here so you can take a look at them. I just added stickles to the edges of each floral just for some extra sparkle and shine. And then of course, just for a hint of mixed media, I took my Distress Oxide uh, ink in salvaged patina and I did a little bit of ink blending just add a little bit of color behind um, the florals I did think about maybe adding a rainbowy background um, but I, in the end I just went with salvaged patina so I adhered all the florals down I tucked in the leaves I punched the leaves out of the graph and dot paper in pickle juice um, and then I also did some of the florals in the graph and dot in bell pepper. So for the most part, all of the pattern papers came from the Tiny Tots collection or Tiny Tots 2.0 collection, but then I pulled in some Bella Besties patterns. So for my title, I'm gonna be using the Aria Alphas in plum, golf, ice, orange, pickle juice. Is, is this one cotton candy or is that punch? I think it's cotton candy. Um, and I think I mentioned all the colors in orange. I think I said orange. So my title is Spring Days. The photo is of me and my boys on an Easter Sunday. This was back in 2010, I believe. And we were stationed in um, San Antonio, Texas. And they're just so little. Um, God, I miss those days. But I thought it was like a, a fun photo for the theme for this week. So the Cute Bugs Bella Pop was, is adorable. And that's also from the Tiny Tots 2.0 collection. So it has a ladybug, a bee, and then this floral piece. So I um, scattered those around my page. I pulled out some doohickey cardstock stickers. I'm going to add some hearts in. And I don't know where that smudge came from. Um, and I was really bummed. So I took my sand eraser and kind of uh, got rid of that. And then just applied the heart sticker right on top. So I'm going to sprinkle in some of the heart stickers. Uh, I do end up taking some of the ephemera pieces and adding a couple of those in. Uh, I think I'll do that next. Oh, oh, I do add some chow chip chipboard stickers. I've got some florals that I'm going to also tuck in here and there. But I just like this page. It's so colorful. It's so springy. I love the florals. It got me breaking out my punches. I have so many paper punches. Um, <laughs> I do like to break those out. Uh, I'm obsessed with paper punches. So it was nice to get some use out of those, especially that floral uh, shape. That one's a fun one. So there's those ephemera pieces. I'm just gonna add a couple phrase pieces and then I add a red heart up here by my bee because he's so cute. <laughs> um, but I think, I don't know what else. Oh no, I do add some tangled thread here in just a second. So I'm gonna layer that little red heart in. I had the ladybugs down at the, um, or the big ladybug down at the 
like bottom left. So I thought I needed more pops of red so that your eye didn't get drawn directly to that ladybug. So I did pull in some more red elements. I brought in the puffy stickers from the collection and, and um, sprinkled a couple of those in like uh, the two small ladybugs and um, and then also some little floral orange and pink stickers. So I'm just tucking in some tangled thread and I think that about does it. I have tangled thread in blue, pink, and then I think yellow or green. I think it's yellow to be honest. Um, but that's it. I love how this page turned out. I'm I love spring. I think summer is my first favorite is my first favorite season and then followed by spring. Just the warm weather, all the florals like just growing and uh, it's just such a beautiful time. Um, but thanks so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Here is my final layout along with some up-close shots. Um, but thanks again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!